Hello everyone and welcome back. Succeeding in Destiny's raids is a testament to your team's skill and communication. You can make things a little easier, however, by choosing the right build for your subclass. In previous videos, we went over how to raise your defense above 280 light, and we went over some weapon recommendations. If you haven't had a chance to check out those videos, I recommend clicking on the images on screen or click the link in the description box below. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at another huge key to your success in King's Fall, your subclass. I do want to reinforce that the following are simply my recommendations for going into King's Fall for your first few times. Ultimately, I urge that you play around with different builds and see what works best for your playstyle. If you are an experienced player and have recommendations that are different than mine, I invite you to leave them in the comments. Now a quick note before we jump in, there's a myth that you have to be a Defender Titan with Weapons of Light, or that you have to be a Sunsinger Warlock with Fireborn, or else you're a noob and you don't know how to play the game. I can't stress enough how wrong this notion is. Nowadays I run through the raid with a Sunbreaker or even a Striker if my team is okay with it. And that's just it. What you pick should ultimately depend on who you're playing with and what the needs of the party are. All of the raids are designed to be completed just fine without these builds. Your team's communication and grasp of the mechanics will determine your outcome. Now having said that, for the Titan, I do actually recommend running Defender. The raid is super fun with Striker and Sunbreaker, but Defender is best suited since there's a lot of long distance encounters in King's Fall. Plus you'll provide protection for your teammates, which is always much appreciated. There are a lot of great strategies that make Defenders shine in King's Fall, so start leveling up Defender if you haven't already. So let's take a closer look at my recommendations for your Defender build. Starting with your grenade, I recommend either Spike Grenade or Suppressor Grenade depending on the situation. Suppressor Grenade is great at taking out large number of enemies at once, but Spike Grenade is actually great at dealing lots of damage over a short period of time. Better suited for Majors and Ultras. For Lift, I recommend going with what works best for you. My favorite is Increased Control, I just find it more useful in chaotic situations, and there will be plenty of those in King's Fall. For Ward of Dawn, you're going to be switching between Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light depending on the situation, so communicate out to your party and see what they need. For Disintegrate, I recommend War Machine. As you saw in the footage, the increased speed of your reload is absolutely insane. Having said that, I recommend trying Gift of Light just to see how effective it can really be. I don't recommend it at first because you're generally going to want to keep your distance, and increased reload speed is going to help in that department quite a bit. Moving to your first column of passives, I recommend using Bastion. An extra 15 seconds of Blessing or Weapons is going to make all the difference. For your last column, I recommend sticking with Illuminated. Increases the benefits granted by Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light. Again, you're going to want as much help as possible during the first few runs, plus you'll be getting lots of orbs from your teammates, so Untouchable is not really needed. Moving on to the Codices, I recommend Codex 1 and 4 to play it safe. Once you start feeling a bit more comfortable, I recommend 2 and 5. You're going to find that a running theme through all of these is going to be getting as much armor as possible. You can always duck behind a rock or get into a bubble to recover. One of my favorite pieces of exotic armor to take into the raid to complement Defender is going to be the Helm of Saint-14. It's not the most crucial piece of armor, but mine has Inverse Shadow and Innervation, and those can be kind of useful. For Hunters, I highly recommend Nightstalker. Even though Titan is my primary character, Nightstalker is my favorite subclass in the game. Nightstalkers have a lot of tact and have many amazing party-aiding abilities which makes the subclass invaluable for King's Fall. So let's take a look at Nightstalker. Starting with the grenade, I highly recommend Voidwall. It's excellent at helping you take out enemies and provides a little bit of zone control as well. And again, you've got Spike Grenade for those majors and ultras. For your jump, I recommend sticking with Triple Jump. There's a lot of platforming in King's Fall and this is gonna help out quite a bit. For Shadow Shot, I recommend Black Hole. Most of the time you're going to be using Shadow Shot to weaken the Ultras while your teammates berate them with Sniper Fire. And Black Hole is going to make sure that Shadow Shot lasts as long as possible. For your grenade, I recommend Vanish in Smoke. This is mostly for an insurance policy just so you can get out of sticky situations. There are also a few instances during the boss fights where it's going to be nice to be invisible for a little while. For the first column of passives, I recommend Light of the Pack. If there are two major considerations to take whenever building your subclass, the first one should be your armor and the second one should be creating orbs for your allies. I guarantee you will be the star of the show if you keep making those juicy, juicy orbs. For your last column, I recommend Shade Step. Shade Step is one of the coolest parts of Night Stalker and comes in handy a lot during King's Fall. For the codices of the Night Stalker, I recommend Path Unknown and Way of the Fearless. Again, this focuses on having as much armor as possible. 
Your increased agility as well as skills like Shade Step and Vanish and Smoke will help make up for the reduced recovery. Some of the exotics I recommend is Graviton Forfeit. That's going to free up the last column so you can also get Keen Scout. The helmet I usually use is the Skyburner's Annex. This helmet is great at helping you recover as well as stay plenty stocked with special ammo. And another exotic I recommend is the Sealed Ahamkara Grasps to give you an extra smoke grenade. For Warlocks, I recommend Sunsinger. Sunsinger has some of the best grenades, and while Fireborn isn't as necessary in normal mode, there are other ways you can take advantage of not ever having to use your super, namely buffing Tlaloc. Tlaloc becomes a beast of a weapon while you're supercharged, so you will be taking great advantage of the situation. Let's take a look at the Sunsinger. For your grenade, I pretty much recommend sticking with Solar Grenade. It's great at taking out those grouped up Acolytes and Thrall. For your glide, I recommend Balanced Glide. This again is going to help quite a bit in the platforming department. Now for Radiance, I do actually recommend Fireborn. Although once you feel more comfortable, I highly recommend Song of Flame. It can go a long way to help your teammates get their abilities quicker and they'll be thankful for it. For Scorch, I recommend Flame Shield. You should only really need to use your melee if an enemy gets too close to you, and Flame Shield is going to go a long way to help you recover from that surprise attack. With your first column of passives, we're back to making as many orbs as possible, and this synergizes especially well with Song of Flame. For your final column, I recommend Gift of the Sun for that extra grenade. This will be especially useful if you actually plan on using Radiance during combat and not just as an insurance policy. Finally, for the Codices, I recommend Arcane Force and Divine Order for that extra armor. Although there are a few parts in the beginning where you're going to want as much agility as possible so you can switch over to Chaos Order for those parts. One of the exotics I recommend for a Sunsinger is Claws of Ahamkara for that extra Scorch charge, especially if you're using Sunburst. Another exotic I recommend is Alchemist Raiment. If you are using Fireborn as an insurance policy, at least you might as well recharge your grenades and melees. There's going to be a lot of orbs that you're not picking up, and it would be a shame for them to go to waste. My final choice is Light Beyond Nemesis simply for the extra orb. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos preparing you for King's Fall. The only other recommendation that I can give to you is to just go have fun. Raiding is some of the most fun you can have in Destiny, so grab a chill party and jump in. Leave your thoughts on this video in the comments below, drop a like if you can, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.